Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. Okay, so should we go over to Nigel West Dickens, Irish, or Seth? Honestly, I think I'm gonna go head over to Nigel West Dickens again because I don't know. I, I just want to do his quest again. I want to do more Nigel West Dickens quest. Okay, I actually, like, before I started recording, I actually ordered food. So, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I actually make this video before my food gets here, but I don't know. Just got myself some, uh, like, wings. Like, got, got, um, got myself some wings. I'm probably gonna, uh, you know, e either watch YouTube or, uh, you know, I'm thinking about putting on that 70s show, because I love that show. Which, you know, the, the trailer for that 90s show... Oh, this game's lagging. But yeah, like, the, the trailer for, you know, that 90s show came out. I mean, it... It looks okay, I guess, but I, I don't have any hope for it, because... I, I feel like... It's, I don't know why they're rebooting it. Frankly, I feel like it's unnecessary. But the one thing I did like from that trailer... You know, the one thing I did like from that 90s trailer... Was the fact that, you know, we have the same Red Foreman from that 70s show. Because he threatened to put his foot up somebody's ass. So, that makes me happy enough. Oh, don't tell me I need to come back at a different time. God damn it. Okay. Just get back there and... Wait, I do have a campfire, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So in that case, just right here. Oh nope, I I didn't want. Okay, well, I didn't want to do that, but there you go. I wanted to do the basic campsite. Okay, bro. Well, now I accidentally have a new horse. My bad. But hey, I, I like the war horse more anyway, so Th this actually works for me because I prefer, you know, this horse over the, like, stallion. But yeah, but really the only thing I liked about, uh, you know, the trailer for that 90s show is the fact that Red Foreman seems to be the same character, but otherwise I'm not, I'm not excited for that show. I'd rather just watch, you know, that 70s show all over again. Alright, Nigel. What are we doing today? Are we doing another race? Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir! How wonderful. You're pissing without your dick out? Ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Uh, barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? Uh, never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't education for nerds! But I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way. Hold on. Don't you drive away without me. All right, come on, horse. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards. I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, 
before knowledge comes doubt, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. You're such a successful businessman. What are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Ridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Reach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. All right, here we are. Now, I think this is the last race we have to do for Nigel West Dickens, and then we are done with his like, with, with like his quest, and then we will move on to Irish and to Seth. All right, where's my horse? All right, come on, new black horse. Let's go. Now, I, I prefer black horses over, you know, the blonde stallion I had. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing. His eyes look weird. Neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Okay, I'm beating all of you. I'm beating all of you. I have the best horse. I have a war horse. Which I think is, you know, the best horse in the game. I have no idea, but either way, I love the war horse anyway, so. Frankly, I'm gonna keep it. I accidentally got this horse, but I'm keeping it anyway. Because I love it that much. Just go ahead and not get knocked over. That that would be very bad. I, I think I mentioned it in a previous episode. Because like since, since we're passing by Tumbleweed. I have no idea why, but Tumbleweed is probably my like one of my favorite locations in Red Dead Redemption. I have no idea why. You know, it's just an abandoned town. But I just love Tumbleweed. I just think it looks like really cool. Also it has this like cool name. Dude, imagine watching this race and then just all the people pass by and then you know you, you can't see anything else. Like what once the race is past you, you can't see like the race anymore. There's literally like nothing left to like look at. You're like, well, that's it. It's time to pack up and leave. Because, you know, the five seconds the racers were here. Do I have any apples? I do not. I don't, I don't know if I did before. And I just forgot to get them. But... Again, I tried my best to get it as close as possible to how it was in my original playthrough before I screwed up and, you know, I, I really should have just, you know, made it, you know, I, I really should have just, you know, saved in, like, the second or third spot when I just played through this game on my own. But, you know, I always save in save file one, so I just wasn't thinking.
Okay, I think I'm getting close to the finish line. Yep. It's coming up. Ha! Ah, I'm, I'm way ahead of everybody else. This is why I have a war horse. Yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Alright. That should be the last quest for Nigel West Dickens. And there we go. Oh, only five bucks for that. Come on. Alright. Oh. There is a stranger mission all the way over here. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, partner. I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> Go ahead and get his horse back. Alright. Who are you to judge? What a name for a side quest. And like, I, I think I mentioned it in, you know, the first episode of this playthrough but I, I really do think Red Dead Redemption has aged perfectly like I think this game I, I think there are you know a few games that no matter how long it's been they have aged like perfectly and I think Red Dead Redemption is one of them and I think Fallout 3 and New Vegas are like, the two other games that you know, no, no matter how old it is the games still look fantastic and, and you know you can say they look dated but like, even to this day, I still think, you know, Red Dead Redemption 1, uh, Fall 3, and Fall New Vegas still look really good. Yeah. Alright. Where... is Jeb's love? What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. Mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Ball man shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave some his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy, short black hair, mustache. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb. Lucy, I'm home. I off him about a week ago. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah, we better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on, man. All right, follow me. Let's go. Okay. I I I just had to do the you know Ricky Ricardo with like since since the horse's name is Lucy, I had to do the Ricky Ricardo. Which, by the way, I Love Lucy is a fantastic show. I should 
never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Ha! So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. He better give me money. Like, I better get money for this. And more than just five dollars. She's my ho my horse is so much faster. My horse is just so much faster than her. What was? <laughs> Did that dude just fall on his own? Okay, Jeb, got your horse back. Mister, Mister, you found her, Mister. Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. This guy's weird. Like it. Lady, I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> This man has definitely fucked that horse. I, I'm just gonna say it. That man has definitely fucked that horse. No, I don't. Just like I was saying. Like, I, I understand, you know, loving an animal and all that. Like, you know, I, I love my dogs. I, I love my dog and all that. But... I, I don't think... I would ever, you know, be like him and all that. Like, be how Jeb was. That That's just freaky. Alright, do I have enough money for this? I hope so. Hey, there we go. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video off here. And next time, we are going to go to Irish or Seth. So, see you guys all that. Wait, before I actually do that. We, yep, we unlocked the duster. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Alright, well, next time we go to Irish or Seth. So I will see you guys all then. Goodbye.